Well, here we go. The final of the European professional event up here in Newcastle. And just to let you know, Dan Fairway is uh, still playing on one of the outer tables. Yeah, we've had coverage of him, haven't we, Andy? We have. So, uh, I'm not sure where we're... Jeff Borton's got his info from about Dan Fairway being in the comms, but he's not. He is playing. Oh. Two other players that are playing. Clint Ianson against Gareth Hibbert. This has got a makings of being a classic. That's not a classic start from Clint. A dry break. So, first real opportunity goes to Gareth Hibbert. Quite a congested table. And that black, well, it may pass into the corner top left of screen. But now he's taken reds. Black, not a problem. So Gareth just looking at this long red. He's decided he's just going to. Well, look at that for an aggressive shot. Yeah, he's played that. 100% uh, he's played it, yeah. Yeah, I mean, even if it just stayed over the pocket, it was, it was a great developing shot. And, uh, wow, great shot. I mean, he's probably going to be forced into a bit of a you know, finish, possibly. It's, uh, it's a tough shot. It is. He's going to take this red into the corner. I think he'd like to develop this other red. And yeah, he's been a little bit unfortunate there, but it was always a possibility. He'd like to have caught that ball half ball, wouldn't he? Yeah, coming off that top cushion and hitting straight behind it, you've got to say it's had unfortunate. Yeah. yeah, not sure what he's got on now. Notice it's not sure if the double's on. I think that yellow's in the way. That clock, though. Ticking down, he already used his extension. I think this double may be on. Oh no, and look oh. at this for a cut. What a cut this is. Oh. Well, he's overcut it. Gee. Can you believe it? Very good effort there from Garris. At one stage, I did think that was in. Well, he's blocked the pocket. Second prize. And these yellows aren't easy, are they? No, they're not. And to right at the uh, back spot. We need to do something with them. We haven't got many pockets to aim for. Looking at a containing shot here and developing this yellow. Trying to hide it behind these cluster of yellows, but he hasn't got he hasn't hit the cue ball. Stop Gareth from potting one here. I don't think he's got a cut back. I think it goes. Yeah, I think he got job done there, to be fair. He's tied up that red between the two yellows. He's got something to think about here as Gareth. So he's just released that awkward red. Just promoted the ball. But he's given Clint an opportunity here. It's a difficult opportunity. The yellow furthest right on your screen as you look now. That's a problem. He's just looking now. He 
Yeah, that's going to be his problem. You're right about that one, Andy. Just how he navigates himself around there. I mean, there is a possibility of the skill shot if he wants, but... He could play this into the middle now. I think he's going that way a lot. Trying to get it into an area, and that's not bad. He'll bad settle for that, yeah. most definitely. So, looked at his problem ball, and went after it as soon as he could. Now, he's in a much better position. The problem with the remaining balls is going to be position to get onto that black. What a final this could turn out to be. Oh yeah, it's got the makings of an absolute classic. Two legends of the game. Both been playing really well. Clint, obviously, as we keep saying, riding the crest of a wave. Current world champion. Shown some real form this weekend. Yeah, he's just carried it on, on Coventry. So, he just stunned this ball back. Just off straight, and he's just stunned it. And there we go. So, tricky finish that was. Again, just never seemed under pressure. I mean, it was, like you said, a very tricky clearance, and uh, but he was up to every, you know, challenging shot. One nil ahead. He has an answer for every question at the moment. As we saw in his previous match. Pulled out some big finishes in that as well. But Gareth, as always, looks very relaxed. Doesn't get much, much credit for the power on his break. I mean, he has a bit of a loose cue ball because he always draws it back. So, he just tend to go in off, you know, more than the, you know, you know, the most of the good players. But he does generate power. Yeah, that's because his timing is so good. Well, that was a good cue ball, it has to be said. Oh. Balls dropping in everywhere, two of each. There you see, give them a right old wallop. And that cue ball could have been kinder. Yeah, I mean, what does he take here? I don't think he's got, a oh, he might have a yellow left centre. Yellow, yeah, yeah, he's got a yellow left centre. Red, maybe top left, but more of a difficult pot. And the one along the cushion's not easy. It's about that yellow next to the black. One on the side cushion ain't very friendly either. No. Yeah, top of screen, that's uh, there's some work to be done there as well. Putting pot in four balls, Andy. It has opened up this table a little bit. There's not much stuff blocking each other. No, so he's okay. taking that ball into middle straight away. He's got position on one of the two of the most difficult balls. For a moment, I thought he missed it. Almost. So it's the ball behind the black. So he's going to go up table. And he just wants to make sure that he lands. Oh, he stay will. away from the middle. Oh, Gareth, Gareth. Very uncharacteristic. Well, he's so good with the cue ball as a rule. Just trying to think what he's done wrong. There's he deaccelerated a little bit, isn't? 
Get the stun he wanted on it. Sure. He's more or less drawn the ball back, hasn't he? So Clint uses his free shot. Does the black pass the two yellows into this corner? We'll find out soon. Going about his work very quickly, and uh, I was to say, uh, not the best of shots there for Clint. Oh, he did. He, he went. He went that very quickly, didn't he? Yeah. Very, uh, just not like him at all. He didn't give the respect it deserved. And now, I have to do some travelling with his cue ball. A little bit more than he wanted, anyway. Well, he's going round the houses here. There's no option. Well, yeah, he's going round the houses. And look at this for a, a positional shot. Spectacular. Class. Once again, runs out of position, but finds an answer. And there you see, screws across the table. That black didn't look like it went past the yellows. And just for a second there, he thought he might have been in trouble. And that's a great recovery. And it's Clint Hansen that takes a 2-0 lead in this final. Yeah, we're not too sure what happened there with Gareth. He uh, played the long yellow. I think he just drew, he wanted to stun it, obviously, but I think maybe just a little bit too low on the cue ball. He spun the cue ball into the middle pocket, which was effectively end of frame. You can't afford to do too many of those. Certainly not in a final against a man in, on form. No, definitely not. Gonna have to be kicking himself there. He definitely should have been levelling this uh, match up at one frame apiece. 2 0 down. Clint Irons into break. We saw a dry break from him in the, uh, the first frame. What has he got in store for his ear? Definitely didn't strike him that well in that first frame. Needs a better strike this one. Took a little bit of power off those for me. Better connection, um, but same result, dry break. Yeah, and it, uh, it's interesting to note that up to press, Clint has only broken from the front. He's only played head ball. We've not seen any, or I can't remember him. Certainly when I've been uh, commentating, I've not been aware of him playing any breaks. Cut breaks. So, come on, Gareth. Put the last error out of your mind. And he is good at that. Very good temperament. Elected to take reds. So the work in this clearance, definitely the two reds, the black end of the table. shot here, a couple of shots time, if he's to get himself down the other end, a good position. He 
it's an angle. Yeah, bit of a puff of the cheeks there. He's not quite where he wants to be. Something up here. This for well, a shot. Get on the highlight reel. What a shot that was. What Brilliant. a shot that was. That is right up there. One of the best shots we've seen this weekend. Most definitely. How well did he time that shot? Yeah, incredible. Incredible. So still needs to be careful here. There's only a small window there. Needs to get on this black. This would do him the world of good, wouldn't it? So, does it pass? Oof. Must be tight. Just glance the yellow. I'd like to see that one again. I mean, I did see the yellow move, but wow. Darren Maidman called it very quickly. Oh, look at this shot. Just look at that <laughs> shot. Superb. Class. That's worthy of any uh, this one here. highlight reel. And then, oh, well, yeah. Yeah. the merest of glances. And unfortunately, because he's potted the black, it's game away. 3 deal. Clint Ianson is not being punished for his dry breaks. He's had two already, but he's 3 nil ahead. We've seen one of the best positional shots we've seen for a while, to be honest, to go yeah. through the gap of them yellows and land absolutely plump on the bottom cushion for that red. Yeah. Oh, a poor positional shot. You just can't hit a ball better than that, can you? Millimetres from getting the best position on that black. Millimetres. It was always tricky to hold for the black. You can't say it was a bad shot not to land on it. It was, it was quite tricky. With the yellow being so close to the black, it was hard for him to put any, any side on. So... Regroup, refocus. It's a race to ten. Long way to go. Well, thankfully for Gareth, last roll of the ball, something dropped. But the cue ball hasn't been kind. So here we see. Generates a lot of power. Yeah, he's been a bit unlucky there. There doesn't seem to be the pool gods on his side at the moment. This is a very challenging opening shot. If I mean, he's took his extension, but what does he do? Can he get through to them, them balls at the top half of the table, just above the bolt line? I don't think that yellow goes. Top right. Uh, it's no easy yellow, is the yellow on the cushion is the easiest one to see. It goes up to the top right, but that is far from easy. But he's got, he's ticking down. And if he does miss it and leaves it hanging, oh well, what a shot! Oh, brilliant opening pot that is. Well, we've seen some right shots in this final already. Great, great opening yellow. And all of a sudden, he's got a good chance here. Yellow tied up on the left hand side of the table. But he's got a great angle here. Should he choose, and I'm sure he will, to just take this ball out. And he 
played it well. So it now goes into the middle. So the only thing is the cue balls. Well, I was going to say he's travelling, but he's managed to hold using the red. Be on that one to the right centre. If not. Got one down in his bottom left-hand corner. But look at the, the hampy queuing he's going to have to deal with. Which one does he take? He, he, either's not easy for, you know, trying to get this finish out. But it's a finish he has to take. He's under pressure here, Gareth. Oh, and he's missed that pot. Got the position right. But had to force it. Had to hit it with a bit more pace. And that's what's caused the missed pot. Trouble is the table is left. No traffic. Just a question of good position on his final red. Make sure he drops down for that black. But this is looking very much like a 4-0 lead for Clint Ianson. This will be the dream start. Time here. Just looking at the ball. He's going to be taken into middle to get him onto the black. Just checking exactly where he wants to be. And that's exactly where he wanted to be. I can assure you. Just the right side of this red. Just run this ball through. He's used the cushion. And he's got a straight black for a convincing, it has to be said, 4 0 lead. Yeah, he is not getting punished any way, shape, or form. Gareth Hibbert had chances in all four of these frames. He's finding himself 4 0 behind. He's the current world champion, Lynn Ianson. Say Gareth Hibbert, he's in a little bit of trouble here. I was just saying that was a, a tough yellow that he attempted. I did fancy him for it. left himself so awkward and he had to force it in to try and get the perfect position he got the perfect position but missed the pot 4-0 not the start that the uh, godfather wanted third break for Clint Ianson he's had two dry breaks already but he's 4-0 ahead Out is nothing going in there. Yeah, looking somewhat perplexed. It's Clint. It's just not working for him at the moment, that break. You will see him change it soon. Yeah, I think, I think he may well do. So three dry breaks. And he's still 4 0 in the lead. He's landed well here. Could have been kinder. As 
as we always say, when you're struggling, you don't tend to get those little uh, nudges, do you? So, good pot there. Fine cut. Into the corner pocket. But again, tricky. So, similar shot. Fine cut. No problem with the pot. He's just checking whether that passes into middle. I don't believe it does. So it's not getting any easier, this finish. Yeah, and he played that well. Wasn't easy. Just keeps digging them out. Refuses to let go. Showing his class. And again, not quite where he wants to be. Everything just seems to struggle at the moment for Gareth. So he's going to cut this into the middle. Well, he just held on that red. Now, what can he do with this yellow? to make sure he can see this black obviously we had the frame where he he landed awkward he ended up fouling giving loss of game so yeah I can agree with that Just stops the cue ball leaves a more difficult black than he probably would have wanted but he'll back himself to make this must go in And it fell there just at the last second. Wiped his feet. Well, he's on the board. It's been a while. Four, one, down. He's, uh, well, this is, he can smile about it at the moment. Still a long way to go, though. It's a race to ten. And uh, not out of it yet. It's obviously give Clint something to think about. Yeah, and you've got to say, with Gareth, he, one of his strengths, he, you know, he, he just looks so relaxed, doesn't he? So calm, he sort of takes it in his stride. Yeah, things haven't gone my way. Might have made a couple of errors. But uh, I'll just put those to one side. I know what I'm capable of. And when I was speaking to Kevin earlier in the studio, I was saying, you know, I think that's one of his strengths. He doesn't waste... Any energy on uh, thinking what might have been. Everything is put into what's to come. Concentration. Well, Gareth Hibbert's first dry break of this match. Just when he was just got a frame on the board. You not really any of that one ball's threatened their pocket. It's dry. Yeah. It's in well. Well, Clint is going to take yellows here. That'll do him.
just looking at the table as it stands the two yellows to the right just need a little bit of work that's perfect take this into the corner this yellow and leave himself one of those two more difficult yellows to the middle pocket so that's what he's done making it look easy out there Little nudge, very well controlled. This is a man in form and very, very focused. I feel if he gets his break working, this is going to be very, very daunting times for Gareth Hibbert. Well. Looking like 5 1. And nothing Gareth could do about that. It was a good break. Just didn't get one down. And that's what happens at this game of pool. Well, the Clintai Anson, that's the only. So the Clintai Anson break, that's the only thing that's not working at the moment. So does he go over to the side? He's picked his break queue up, so no. No. <laughs> <laughs> we'll know when he uh, when he'll change things. He'll go to the side. Well, I think he just bears with it. It's worked for him throughout of uh, all of today. So stick with it. Stick with it. It'll come good. in a very comfortable place at the moment. It's Clint Ianson. Live in his corner there, his partner. Big glass of water that is. <laughs> that Viv's got. Five one. So, the Clint Ianson break. Is it going to start working? It's a good start. He's got a ball. But. There's a little bit of a but. It's got, it's got some challenges. Not straightforward. Either colour set. layout he's going to give Clint something to think about does he go reds does he go yellows so he's looking there now looks like he's thinking about taking yellows so he'll be looking at coming back underneath there you go and he didn't mean to hit that ball his intention was to slide behind to leave it in the same pocket. But regroups. Yeah, just overcut that a little bit. He said it, he, I mean, he had a, such a small window to try and stun that off the top cushion through the gap for the rest to play that yellow. So it was a, a super tricky shot. Gareth back to the table. But well, he's also got issues. Black tied up, 
the red next to it. Awful. Does he go into it early? Does he wait? Does he see that he's got a chance at it now? I think he's going to go into it now, and that's what he's doing. Oh, he's oh. cursed there. I think he's okay. I think he's got a cutback well, on. He may have a cutback, but... Not sure he can get the one in the top right-hand corner. So he's developed the black. But the red that's next to it, still a problem. Doesn't want to be hampered. He's pushing the boat out a bit here. This is going to be a huge clearance if he gets this. It's hard to see his routine here. Now it's going to go smooth. Well, he's playing the plant by the look of it. Chop. Where is he left the cue ball? It's a cruel game sometimes. It's a cruel game. Yeah, when things are against you, it can really be against you. And that is what Gareth Hibbert is finding out now. Very, very unfortunate to leave the cue ball where it is now. Just look at that table. I don't think this red passes a black. I think he... I think he tried, I don't know. I think he tried to play it off the jaw. I think he was just out of ideas. Clock ticking down. Used his extension. The pressure was on. Black in open play, nothing round it. Goes to both corners. And we'll go well. He'll effectively could go in any of the six pockets. And uh, I think he's played that well. Most difficult ball, obviously the one next to the red. Yeah, he can play onto it now if he chooses. Needs to drop this in the middle. So once again, clinical finish. But this has been cruel, this particular frame. So, black for 6-1. Six one, it is. Got a feel for Gareth there. I mean, God, he's had some chances. As a player, though, Andy, how how does Gareth try and you know get back into this match with everything that seems to be going wrong for him? Because uh, everything he's trying just isn't working. No, I mean he's got a superb temperament. We both know that. Um, he's been at the game a long, long, long time, and I am sure that he's been behind in similar score lines against great players and found a way previously so he will have got out of this situation before but this is a tough ask reigning world champion in fine form with a big lead but look at him you wouldn't know he was 6-1 down would you oh he seems quite relaxed there 
you know, you see players looking like that when they're six one ahead, don't you? Yeah. Uh, it's just got to hang in there, and you just never know, do you? At these rules, this rule set, things can just turn, in, especially in these long races. A race to ten. Clint's still four frames away from picking yeah. up this title. And especially with the fact that Clint hasn't been making balls on the break. If that was to continue, and Gareth got the opportunities. This match could go close. But he has to start turning these chances into frames. Not easy splits. It's work to do here. Red tied up on the right hand rail. I say tied up, it way past the yellow, but no, looking from here it certainly doesn't pass it. So these are tricky. Going to need to develop that red. Right of screen, side cushion. I don't know if he got a heavy contact there. Yeah, it didn't seem to be natural the way it run through, did it? Seems like it, some sort of bad contact. We don't see many of those in the game anymore, do we? No, we really don't. So he's got an angle here. Yeah, and I don't blame him for that, but once again. Poor gods. That's the pull gods. Where are they? To double kiss the red, throw yourself into that corner like that. Look at where he's landed. Again, that's a couple of mil at either side, and it and it it goes the opposite way. It's uh, incredible how things can go against you at times. Anything but a full ball contact, anything but a double kiss, and you feel he had to be on something. So, elected to play a safety. And there is a ball on here. Long yellow. And if he does take it on, which I'm sure he will, he has a yellow to middle to follow. So, just needs to cue this. Need to do much with the cue ball. Yeah, heart of the pocket. Solid. Absolutely solid, that is. Great shot. Yeah. Now oh, it's just a case of floating back out. Picking up the pace. Hitting everything nice and positive now. He knows he's in a very, very healthy position here. Still pulling faces, though. He'll probably be a millimetre out of position, and that's what Clint's levels have uh, risen to. So, I had to stun across to the side. Cushion there. So, once again, little pocket, just run into the black. He doesn't want it. Oh, it's okay if it drops it. Oh. There you go. He's all right. Yeah, as long as the yellow uh, drops. As long it. as the yellow drops, that's the thing. So, legal shot. What's his last ball? Black in the same visit, same shot. 7-1 very unfortunate there Gareth it has to be said the last couple of frames not being kind to him and is Clint Ianson's name already on this trophy is it destiny? He 
hasn't really put a foot wrong though, has he, this weekend? He's no. been absolutely phenomenal. Yeah, he's carrying the mantle of world champion. Carrying it well. Very solid. When he's been asked a question and had difficult clearances, he's had the answers. Certainly not his A game for most of the day, but that's how good he is. Got another ball, it's two good breaks in a row. Clinton Hansen, now his brakes working as well. Yeah. Well, I think we can safely say it's not going to be yellows. So here we go. Taking the reds, and immediately he attempted there to just dislodge one of those two reds. It's just went past. Trying to run into the higher of the two reds. So we're going to look phased by that. He's, he's already worked out what he needs to do. He's worked out his pattern. Yeah, straight away he's found himself an angle onto this ball into the middle. And if he chooses... If you look at the line now, he's just looking at it. He runs down past that black. He can leave himself on one of those two balls. But he doesn't want to catch the knuckle. Oh, look at this, though, for a positional shot again. At the moment, he is playing to a different level. He's still pulling faces, though. So you wouldn't think so when you look at his facial expression. <laughs> Everybody else would be ecstatic with that. And he just he just pulls out the right shot next one, doesn't he? Gets himself back into prime position. That's what world champions do. And that is what exactly what Clint Ianson is doing. It'll now be at 10.45 tomorrow morning. For anybody who has a match starting at 10.45 this evening, it will not be played this evening. It'll be at 10.45 tomorrow morning. So he takes this into the corner, stuns off the side cushion, leaves himself a long red to corner, black to middle. We're looking at 8-1. Let's go two away from the title. One-way traffic at the moment. Yeah, he stepped up the gears even more now, Lint has. Yeah, played a great shot in that clearance. Played a great shot into the middle. Ran back up table to get himself on those two difficult reds. And Gareth Hibbert just popped uh, out for a comfort break. I'm sure he'll be having a word with himself. Yeah, I mean, what do you, what do, you do in this position? 8-1 behind. I mean, it'll be some comeback, wouldn't it? If he, if Gareth, I mean, he's a phenomenal player, Gareth is. But, uh, and Ty Anson. Bit of it in a different mood at the moment. You need Clint to continue to dry break. You need to break and clear from your own breaks. And it needs to run for. Well, look at it. He needs. needs a miracle, let's be fair. It's, uh, it's a massive ask, is this. But it has happened before. But with an alternate break format, it's very difficult. So 
still a lot of matches going off here. Gosforth, still, this, we're going to be playing probably into the early hours. I think there is so much activity going off at the moment. Every table is active. Just hear the noise out, out there. Very good vibe here in the outside of Newcastle. Here at the Grand Hotel. Terrific venue. Terrific atmosphere. Yeah. Been buzzing from the word go, hasn't it? Deep in thought there, does Clint? Just composing himself, I think. I think that's what you do, don't you? Just, uh, you know, just he's got to concentrate now just to finish off the final two frames that he needs. He's been picking himself up another professional title. He won the professional title, the first one in the 2022 season in Coventry. So he'll be starting off in the same fashion if he can find them two frames. Yeah, and what a successful campaign this would be. World champion taking the first professional European event. Straight after it. Gareth's oh, just walked back into the arena now, so. Gonna be Gareth to break as well. Have three good breaks out of four. Oh, here he is, the godfather, Gareth Hibbert. Come on, Gareth. Oh dear. Oh dear. Things are going from bad to worse. Enough. It's, uh, it's unforgivable that enough into the centre. You just come across the ball, don't you? And enough. Have we seen Gareth Hibbert's last shot? It's quite possible. No, if Clint goes on to clear this frame and breaks and clear. He will beat the European professional champion. See where he's going to go wrong for here, Andy? Can you? It's. No. I mean, that's why we're not probably saying out because he's just going about his he's work. A, he's a man on a mission. He really is. He said to me on Friday in the studio, he wants that number one spot, mate. That's his aims this year. Don't know. He said, I don't know how many points I'm behind Farnsworth, but I want it back. And he's going the right way about it. Obviously, Farnsworth had a. That's 32 exit at the hands of Andy Crowsdale earlier today. Now, Clint Ianson. Has been informed there is 50 points behind. Gonna get 25 for this win. And it all depends on what drops off because we're a two year ranking list here. So, well, he won, the, he won this first event in there, so he's probably not going to earn too many extra points out of this weekend. But, going the right way about it to keep him catching Mark Farnsworth. He's been absolutely solid in this final and this simple black to go a frame away. 9 1 ahead neck now, and he's going to be breaking in the 11th frame. Well, you may have called it, you may have called it, Mark. 
and you said has he had his final shot in this final it's cleared and if he breaks here and makes a ball you wouldn't bet against it would you no you really wouldn't he's had two good breaks in a row one of them was a break in clearance this is his previous one, so. Yarath had a couple of unfortunate visits towards the end of, of the latter stages of this match. Really, I don't think he's, he's had much of a go since, has he? Ball down. Cue ball. He's in off. What a break. Probably his best break of the match for power. But lost the cue ball. A little bit unfortunate to get kicked across in the left-hand centre. Well, that cue ball was travelling around. Yeah, it was unfortunate. Brought the cue ball straight back to the middle of the cushion, as you should, or as a lot of players do. But he got kicked in, didn't he? That bit of adrenaline, extra adrenaline, you know. I mean, he's nine one ahead. Just can't see any way back for Gareth. Choosing his free shot wisely there. And off the break is one free shot, one visit. If anything, Gareth's just going to try and make the score look a little bit respectable. Just about how close he can make it look respectable, though. Took the words out of my mouth. I was about to say the same thing. First things first, try and make it respectable. And if you get uh, a couple uh, of racks, a couple of frames, you start to think, well, maybe. Gareth plays these shots very nice. Sometimes he tracks. He's playing this with side, just tracks it back nice, always gets the pace right. Make him feel a little bit better. He'll be looking over at that scoreboard and he'll just be thinking, he's just a little grin to himself there as he's walked back to his seat. He's going. Going through his corner. He's still in good spirits, isn't he, Gareth? Great guy. Run off the table. Brilliant guy to have around the tour. Brilliant. Hey, didn't you, you've enjoyed having him yeah, in the I comms have, yeah. as well. I really enjoyed doing commentary with him, yeah. Very yeah. knowledgeable. Yeah, great ambassador for the sport, for the IPA. Still plays at what a level he plays at. Unbelievable level. Don't know what he's made of, but he, he's made of some stern stuff. Granite. Yeah, granite's the word. So, frame number 12. Gareth Hibbert to break. Went in off last time. He's to try and control the cue ball. Can he do it? Where's the cue ball gone again? Oh, well, it's just not his day. You is it? cannot help that. Oh, that's incredibly unlucky. For it to go that way and then come over. Oh, that, that. Even if you played a double like that, it, it, doesn't, it doesn't go, does it? No. I mean, it, look, Gareth hasn't been at his best in this match. Yeah. And that's fair to say. But he definitely hasn't had the rub of the green either. I answered one free shot, one visit. 
has come out pretty well. Could have gone a little bit wrong, especially the pace that he, he played it. It's not much of a, a controlled pace about that shot. Looking and taking this right into the middle. So, no clusters. Doesn't want to be straight. Still got a little angle, it's fine there. So, just needs to get back out from this red. Yep, played it well. Takes it into the corner, over to the side. Gets him onto the red, to middle. And I think we're in the closing stages here. This European professional final. table first it's just going to screw this cue ball back he'll take that so tops it through a little bit shorter than he wanted to be to come further up table let's just call for his extension and I have a view from the overhead it's a little bit more difficult than it looks there you see And it's there. So, it's black to middle for the title. And there we are. Fantastic performance from Clint Ianson. There you see the fist pump. Reigning world champion. And he's now just won the European professional title. Here at Tour 1 in Newcastle. There you can see, I think it's relief to some, some degree. We've said before, it's often the case that the world champion struggles in his following season. But this is a dream start for, for Clint. And uh, look at that there. Big smile. And Mark Pickworth out at table now, about to speak to the two finalists. And over to you, Mark. Yeah, thanks, Andy. And there we've had another brilliant European professional final. And uh, I think, first of all, let's give both of these players a round of applause. Terrific final. <laughs> Gareth, please just come on and just have a few Good words. Man. And. Um, Obviously, you're obviously disappointed with the scoreline, but uh, you know, take your hats off there to Clint. He's played pretty well. Yeah, he didn't make many mistakes really. I made it easy for him in quite a lot of the frames really. Just uh, had first go early on. Tough little finishes, a few of them, and I just didn't have the control really. New tip on me cue. I've got to thank Danny Evans who put a tip on for me after the last 16 match because I don't think I'd have won the quarters and the semis without the tip. But just on a few little precision shots there, I, I just didn't quite get the right, right cue ball, and that's what cost me. And, Missed a few chances, but he took every chance he had, so 
I mean, we, you know, I was in comms with Andy for this final, and uh, we've mentioned about the pool gods, and uh, there was a lot of things that went against you there. You know, a couple of double kisses, all of a sudden yeah. out of position. Did you feel that things were against you? A little bit. I've, I've played a great shot. I had two balls at the bottom of the tail. Played a great shot and landed dead straight, where I couldn't re any slight angle on that. I'm not. I ended up fouling on the black because I tried to hold and couldn't quite hold. It just, just little things, but. Uh, he definitely deserved to win. So not no no complaints. And overall this weekend, I mean, obviously you've made a, an IPA final once again. Are you are you pleased? That you, did you have any expectations to try and get here? I know we had a few words about. It. It's good to see you back in an IPA yeah, yeah, tour really final. Since the Wales mark, to be honest, I've, I've not bothered much. I've I put a lot of time in for the Wales, and that didn't go so well. So I've I've, I've just been playing a bit of snooker really. So it, yeah, I'm quite happy. But just like to have played a bit better there. But all credit to Clint. Yeah, absolutely. And a, a few words about Clint. Oh yeah, he's. So much for the world champion curse, like that didn't last long, did it? But yeah, he's just deserved it. He's obviously played well all day. And like I say, five or six of the frames, I missed my chance and he just punished me and the others he took from the break. So can't argue with that. You can't argue with that. I'm lucky today. I'm sure, you know, the 11th of a day comes and maybe some revenge on against the Clint. Gareth Hibbert, everybody. Come up here. I'm fed up for talking to you. I've been talking to you for the past two days. I'm sick of talking to you, to be honest. All right, Clint. OK. But Clint Ianson, how do you feel? Your absolute phenomenal performance. 10 2 scoreline. Did you see that one coming? No, definitely not. Obviously, Gaz is one of the best players in the world. So to beat any, any pro 10 2 is a great result. But to beat Gaz 10 2 is, is phenomenal, really. It's unheard of. I know you're only a few years behind uh, Gareth in age. Quite uh, a few. <laughs> sorry, I, may, I might have missed a word there. I know you're only a few years behind him. A few decades. But, <laughs> it, it, but if you're playing to that level that uh, Gareth can play to uh, oh, that geez. age, you, you'd be one happy man, would oh, you? I'd be over the moon. He's as good as anyone in the world now, never mind, like, even at his age, it's ridiculous. And we go on about the world champions, curse, etc. But you, you've played superb over these last couple of days. You've got to be truly... You know, proud of your performance. Yeah, I think I just got better and better as the the weekend went along, and yeah, and I think obviously, like I said earlier on, the winning the the world championships has just, just gave me loads of confidence. To be honest, like I was coming here this week with this weekend, and I'm thinking I'm going to do well. Even and I know there's so many good players, so you can't really say that. But I just I knew I was going to do well, so. And obviously you've got Shannon over there. She's come to support you in the end, hasn't she? Uh, how much does that help you to have the support coming oh, over the from all over the UK? Dad, Shannon and Shannon's family, even some of the Geordie lads, because it's like my second home now, really. Um, yeah, it's it's brilliant. Well, I'm going to crown you now the world, no, sorry, the world, the European professional champion, Clint Ianson, everybody.